सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कसड अप टू 16 प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो नाउ टुडे वी डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड आल्सो द कांसेप्ट्स द कांसेप्ट्स फॉलोड बाय द प्रॉब्लम्स वी शुड डिस्कस ओके बिकॉज यू नो द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल सब ऑल चैप्टर्स okay thank you once again good morning all so let us start functions this is part 4 part 4 right seventh question seventh if f of x equals to f of x equals to 3 power minus x minus 1 Minus one less than or equal to x. X less than zero. That means whenever x lies between minus one comma zero, minus one is included, zero is not included. So then write three power minus x minus one. Next one is tan of x by two. This is Zero less than or equal to x. X less than or equal to pi. X lies between zero comma pi, and here included zero and pi is included. So next one is. So next one. X upon x square by two. Pi less than x. X less than or equal to six. So this is the interval. Okay. Then we need to find out. Then f of zero plus f of pi by six. Plus one by time five times f of five minus one by twenty three whole root whole root equals to first option zero second option twenty seven upon twenty three minus root three. third option twenty seven upon twenty three plus root three fourth option root three minus one upon root two this is the question right. Seventeenth solution. Seventeenth solution. First, let us find out f of zero. See the question. See f of zero means actually the zero belongs to the second one, tan of x by two. So that means tan of zero. Zero you will be getting. Next, f of five by six. f of pi by 6 means pi by 6 includes in second interval only the tan of pi by 6 by 2 pi by 12 so this will be tan 15 degrees tan 15 degrees equals to we have the formula 2 minus root 3 tan 75 degrees is equal to 2 plus root 3 tan 
15 degrees is equal to minus root 3. Then we need to find out f of phi. See, f of phi means phi belongs to the third one. Their function is x upon x square by 2. That means x means phi, phi square is 25 minus 2. That will be phi upon 23. Okay, first let us find out, uh, say this value, under root value is equal to something, say, a given expression. After that, square root of given expression you can find out. f of naught, f of pi by 6, plus f of phi, plus 1 by phi times f of phi, minus 1 by 23. So, this equals to f of 0 is 0. This is 2 minus root 3. Next, uh, plus 1 by 5 upon f of 5. 1 by 23 minus 1 by 23. So, 1 by 23, 1 by 23 gets cancelled. We have 2 minus root 3. This is the value. But we need to find out square root. Therefore, here required value is required one square root of given expression that means square root of 2 minus root 3 in the root multiply with 2 and divide by 2 you get now square root of 2 into 2 4 minus 2 root 3 upon 2 so this can be written like this this, is, this can be written root 3 minus 1 whole square. Root 3 minus 1 whole square is 3 plus 1 4 minus 2 root 3 by root 2 square right on. So, this equal to root 3 minus 1 upon root 2 is the required answer. Is the required answer. That means, fourth option is the right option fourth option is the right option. Once again, all of you check the steps. Okay, let us move to the next problem. Eighteenth one. Eighteenth problem. If f of x equals to Two x minus one provided x greater than one. For x greater than one, we need to consider f of x as two x minus one. Same, this function will be x square plus one if minus one less than or equal to x, x less than or equal to one. So understood now. And also given that, and if if f of 1 plus f of 3 plus f of x upon f of 2 plus f of minus 1 plus f of 1 by 2 equal to 32 upon 25 32 upon 25 then x equals to first option 1 second option 0 third option 4, 
फोर्थ ऑप्शन माइनस टू फोर्थ ऑप्शन माइनस टू राइट हियर एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू टू एक्स माइनस वन इफ एक्स ग्रेटर देन वन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इफ माइनस वन लेस देन आर इक्वल टू एक्स एक्स लेस देन आर इक्वल टू वन एंड इफ एफ ऑफ वन प्लस एफ ऑफ थ्री प्लस एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन एफ ऑफ टू प्लस एफ ऑफ माइनस वन प्लस एफ ऑफ वन बाई टू इक्वल टू थर्टी टू बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव देन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विच सैटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट लेटर्स राइट एफ ऑफ वन एफ ऑफ वन मीन्स वन बिलोंग्स टू दिस इंटरवेल here 1 square plus 1 that will be 2 plus f of 3 f of 3 means greater than 1 3 into 2 6 minus 1 5 5 f of x okay upon f of 2 2 belongs to the first interval only 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 3 plus f of minus 1 minus 1 belongs to this interval okay minus 1 square plus 1 Plus one, two, and next f of half. See f of half belongs to this interval only. In between minus one to one, half square is one by four plus one, five by four, plus five by four, equal to thirty-two by twenty-five. So let us find out a. Uh, Okay, seven plus f of x upon this is five three uh, plus two five five into four twenty twenty five by four equal to thirty two by twenty five cross multiplication cross multiplication seven plus f of x equals to thirty two Upon 25 multiplied by 25 upon 4 because we are cross multiplying. Here 25 one year 25, 4 one year 4 eight year. This will be eight. So we get f of x is equal to eight minus seven is one. So now here f of x is actually two forms. So take 2x minus one equal to one. And x square plus one equals to one. So now two x equals to two, x equals to one. But one does not belongs to this interval. One does not belongs to this x greater than one. That means one to infinity. So this is discarded. So x square equals to zero. x equal to zero. See the zero belongs to this interval, so that's why second option is the right option. Second option is the right option, not first option, because one does not belongs to the domain of two x minus one. Understood now? The domain is actually divided there. Okay, nineteenth problem. If f and g are real functions, are real functions, defined by, defined by. f of x equals to 2x minus 1. g of x equals to x square. Then, then, first option, 3f minus 2g. Of one 
equals to 1. Second option, second option, fg of 2 equals to 10. Third option, g3 of 2, that means g of 2 whole cube equal to 128 fourth option root f upon g of 2 equals to root 3 by 2 actually we need to do uh, we need to check the four options unless and until we check the four options we cannot get it this problem so this problem is actually based on operations of the functions based on operations on the functions so let us do it now okay 19 solution here f of x is defined as 2x minus 1 g of x is defined as x square okay 19th solution 19th solution First option, uh, first f of x write on what is given. f of x equals to, for our reference, this will be 2x minus 1. g of x is defined as x square. Okay. Real functions means no problem. Real number system. Its domain is real number system. First option. Option 1. 3 uh, f minus 2g of 1. That means this we can write 3f of 1 minus 2g of 1. So that means f of 1 means instead of uh, x substitute 1 in the function f of x. That means you will be getting 1, 3 times 1 minus 2 times 1. That is 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Yes, first option only, correct option. That's all. But even you can check second option, third option also. Let us check it second option for a while. Second option is what? Fg of 2. Fg of 2 is nothing but f of 2 into g of 2. f of 2 means 3 into 2, 4, 12. But what is given? 10 is given. 12 does not equal to 10. So, the second option has been discarded let us go for third option third option because you will be getting practice also gq of 2 that we can write a g of 2 whole cube so what do you mean by g of 2 g of 2 is 2 square 4 4 cube 4 cube is equal to 64 but what is given 128 is given does not equal to 128 yes even it has been discarded fourth option root f upon g of 2 that means this is root f of 2 upon g of 2 so let us calculate f of 2 f of 2 means root of this will be 4 minus 1 3 g of 2 is 4 root 3 by 4 what is given but root 3 by 2 this does not equal to root 3 by 2 so it has been discarded. Yes, absolutely correct. The first one is the right option. Twentieth problem. Am I correct now? Twentieth problem. Twentieth problem. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Once again. F maps N to R such that such that F of X equals to 2X minus 1 upon 2 and G maps Q to R such that 
such that g of x equals to x plus 2 be two functions two functions then g circle f of 3 by 2 this is a composition of the functions no problem no problem composition of the functions g circle f of 3 by 2 first option is 3 second option is 7 upon 2 third option is 1 fourth option is not defined not defined okay right generally the one must be tempted to write the answer first or second or third but here this question is based on absolutely concept based question concept based question means first what is the domain of g circle f that we need to discuss see here important point is important point so domain of domain of g circle f function equal to domain of f domain of f what is the domain of f function is natural numbers set of natural numbers but what is given actually we are asked to find out the g circle f of 3 by 2 see the 3 by 2 must present in the domain of f since 3 by 2 does not belongs to natural number that means input value does not be 3 by 2 so that why not defined not defined so fourth option is the right option fourth option is the right option right please check the concept because in functions domains play major role vital role everybody will get confusion yes we need to observe the domain that's very very important part because it doesn't accept the value of 3 by 2. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty. First problem. If F maps R to R. and g maps r to r g maps r to r see the pushpa 3 by 2 does not belongs to the natural numbers so that's why here g circle f of 3 by 2 g circle f does not accept the value of 3 by 2 only counting numbers it accepts 1 2 3 like that but 3 by 2 is a rational number Domain is not rational number. So, it cannot be defined. That's all. Or defined by f of x equals to 2x plus 3 and g of x equals to x square plus 7 then the value of the value of x for which f circle oh sorry f of g of x equals to 25 or 
okay i will start i will start don't worry first option plus or minus 1 second option plus or minus 2 third option plus or minus 3 fourth option plus or minus 4 this is the problem okay so i am from hyderabad okay f maps r to r g maps r to r are defined as f of x equal to 2x plus 3 g of x equals to x square plus 7 And f of g of f of g of x equals to 25. F circle g of x is equal to 25 given, and then we need to find out x. Don't worry, here x is any real number is valid real number. That's why it it possesses the solution. So first, let us find out f of g of x. So f of g of x means in the place of g of x replace x square plus 7 f of x square plus 7 now in the place of f of x x here substitute x square plus 7 2 times x square plus 7 plus 3 this we get 2x square plus 17 but what is given c f of g of x is equal to 25 given c you check it this one so that implies 2x square plus 7 is equal to 25 2x square equals to 27 minus uh, 7 20 minus 7 is equal to how much 18 x square equals to 9 x equals to square root of 9 that will be plus or minus 3 so that means third option is the right option so gandham ramesh please don't chart personal please try to understand my problem i need to concentrate on the concept huh right second option right absolutely clear. second option no 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 second option how did you get second option right 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 i did mistake i did mistake correct 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 uh, let us check 14 right i did numerical error has been arisen third okay this is 2x square plus 17 this will be yes correct 8 x square equals to 4 x equals to square root of 4 that will be plus or minus 2 yes option 2 is the right option narla you are correct you are correct right 22 22 so you people are very you are doing good observation wonderful 22 If f of x equals to, if f of x equals to x cube minus x, g of x equals to sine two x, sine two x, then okay, first option, g of f of two. Equal to sine two, no problem. This is two radians. That means second option, g of f of one. So one. Third option, 
g f of g of pi by 12 pi by 12 is radians equals to minus 3 upon 8 fourth option f of f of 1 equal to 2 so that means uh, in this problem we need to we need to observe all the four options that's very important four options we need to check it now first option let us check now first option g of f of 2 f of 2 means 2 cube is how much 8 8 minus 2 6 g of 6 that is sin 12 no first option eliminated Go to second option. G of f of 1. f of 1 means 1 minus 1, 0. G of 0, sin 0, 0. Yes. Second option eliminated. First option eliminated. Go to third option. So, f of g of pi by 12. Pi by 12 means 2 into pi by 12. Sin pi by 6. That will be root 3 by 2. f of root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 whole cube that is 3 root 3 by 8 minus x root 3 by 2 ok So, welcome back to the session. Actually, due to technical problem, so, so computer problem is there. Okay. Right. Right. See, here, pi by 12 is 15 degrees, but sin 2 into 15 sin 30 sin 30 is 1 by 2 f of 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 whole cube is 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2 so minus 3 by 8 so third option is the right option understood now so now you need to wait i have observed all your uh, conversations please uh, don't chart privately i have observed your all chartings so you are discussing about uh, your personal affairs See, so don't do like that, please. Borrow yourself also. Right. Because we need to work hard to rectify our problem here. Isn't it now? Right. Twenty-third. If... f of x if f of x f of x equals to log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x and g of x equals to 3x plus x cube upon 1 plus 3x square then then f circle g of x equals to first option f of x Second one, two f of x. Third one, three times f of x. Fourth one, four times f of x. This is the problem. Right. Teja ready, stop. Right, now. So, we need to find out f circle g of x. f circle g of x means f of g of x. We need to find out. 
that means we need to find out f of 3x plus x cube upon 1 plus 3x square. So in the place of x, replace 3x plus x cube. Trigonometry chapter already completed. So this equals to log of 1 plus 3x plus x cube upon 1 plus 3x square upon 1 minus 3x plus x cube upon 1 plus 3x square. So this is the bracket. We shall get it now. Black, black them, black her. Okay. Right. Next, this equals to log of one plus three x square is the LCM. We get like this one plus. 3x plus 3x square plus x cube upon here also 1 plus 3x square LCM 1 plus 3x square 1 plus 3x square gets cancelled right here we get now 1 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube we will get it using binomial theorem the numerator and denominator so numerator and denominator both are actually expansions binomial expansions so this equals to log of we can write 1 plus x over cube by 1 minus x over cube this can be written 1 plus x upon 1 minus x over cube using power rule this can be written 3 times log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x log 1 plus x upon 1 minus x equals to this f of x so we can write 3 times f of x so third option is the right option third option is the right option right so i observe your patience also you don't have the patience because you are not waiting for uh, whenever uh, my when whenever I resume my classes so that is required because as I am offering the free classes you need to wait for a while see I would have stopped the class but in order to complete the syllabus I started I once again after rectification okay, definitely I will uh, suggest the good books don't worry twenty fourth question if f of x equals to three x minus seven upon five x minus three then f of y f of y equals to first option is minus x second option is x third option is 5x plus 3 upon 4x minus 5 and fourth option is none None of the above. So now, the
the solution indirectly this is given that y equals to f of x equals to 3x minus 7 upon 5x minus 3 so you need to find out f of y that means f of f of x you need to find out instead of y replace f of x so let us find out Dishwank after long time what happened where had you been so therefore f of y equals to f of 3x minus 7 upon 5x minus 3 equals to in the place of x you need to write 3x minus 7 by 5x minus 3 this equals to 3 times 3x minus 7 upon 5x minus 3 minus 7 upon upon 5 times x means 3x minus 7 Mr. Infinite Kings I will observe your conversation also in absence of uh, my classes because don't do like that if you want to chart privately you need to chart but you are absolutely correct infinite kings thank you for supporting me cooperating me right equals to here 5x minus 3 lcm here also 5x minus 3 lcm both will be gets cancelled let us simplify 9x minus 21 minus 35x because minus 7 into this one plus 21 upon this is 15x minus 35 minus 15x plus 9 okay minus 15x plus 15x cancel so 21 21 gets cancel so we have 35 minus uh, 9 is uh, 26 that is minus 26 x upon minus 26 so we have x that means second option is the right option Second option is the right option. Not this one, not your others, others. Others charted. I don't know who is Mr. Teja. Today he entered. Right. Thank you, thank you. 25. 25. If F maps minus 6, comma 6 to R is defined. is defined is defined by f of x equals to x square minus 3 for every x belongs to minus 6 comma 6 then F circle, F circle, F circle of minus 1 plus F circle, F circle, F circle of 0. I don't know. Plus F circle, F circle, F circle of 1 equals to first option f of 4 root 2 second f of 3 root 2 3 f of 2 root 2 fourth option f of root 2 
Okay, thank you. Okay, first let us find out one by one now. First let us find out uh, F circle, F circle, F circle minus 1. This we can write F circle of F of minus 1. So that is equal to F circle of F of minus 1 means minus 1 square is plus 1, minus 2. So this is F of F of minus 2. Now we need to find out f of minus 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. f of 1. See f of 1 equals to minus 2. Okay, next f circle, f circle, f of 0. Okay. Now we need to find out f circle, f of, f of 0. See f of 0 means minus 3 f circle of minus 3 that is f of f of minus 3 in the f of x replace uh, x for minus 3 so that will be 6 f of 6 f of 6 equals to 36 minus 3 33 now next we need to find out f circle f circle f of 1 this equal to f circle f circle f of 1 this will be f circle of f of 1 means minus 2 the same value will be getting f of f of minus 2 that will be f of 1 equal to 2 so adding these three so adding these three means so we get given expression equals to we get like this Minus 2 plus 2 cancel 33. Now verify the first option. So you need to verify the first option. 4 root 2. 4 root 2 square is 32. Uh, 32 minus 3. 32 minus 3 is 29. Okay, let us check it. Second one. 3 root 2. 3 root 2 is how much now you will be getting? 6. 36 minus 3 f of 0, 0 is minus 3, minus 3, 9 minus 3, 6, okay, 33, right. Second option, 16 into 2, 32, 32 minus 3, 32 minus 3 is 29 you are getting. Second one, 18 minus 3 is 15, yes, it cannot be answer, so we need to check this one now. Here f of 0, 0 means minus 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, 36 minus 3 is 33, 33, okay, f of 1 is, yes, f of 1 is minus 2, sorry, 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 absolutely correct, I did mistake here. Okay, minus 2, 33, the given expression becomes now here actually 33 minus 4, 33 minus 4 is 29, yes, first option, first option is the right option, exactly correct, so giving very good Vanilla, Praveen, Pushpa, Royal, Suma, everybody. Very good. Good, good. Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth problem. Twenty sixth problem. Yes. Twenty sixth. If h of x equal to 3x, g of x equals to x plus 2, f of x equals to x square minus 1 are real functions, 
or real functions or real functions such that such that h circle of g circle f h circle g circle of f exists exists then h circle g circle f of x sorry f of 2 f of 2 f of 2 first option 10 first option 10 second option 12 third option 15 fourth option 18 okay so i am from hyderabad right so now let us find out first g circle f of 2 after that we can find out s circle of g circle of f of 2 so first step by step let us do first let us find out f of 2 f of 2 is equal with the help of this we can find out f of 2 4 minus 1 is 3 next find g circle f of 2 that is equal to g of f of 2 g of f of 2 means g of 3 g of 3 means with the help of this we need to find out 3 plus 2 5 therefore we need to find out h circle of g circle f of 2 this can be written h of g circle f of 2 now the h circle uh, sorry g circle f of 2 is replaced that is phi so h of phi but h of x is defined as 3x now 3 times phi is 15 so third option is the right option third option is the right option Thank you. Right. Check on now. Where had he been? Tishwank is there. Chintu is there. Balu. Suma. Regular viewers. Sudha. You are also. Pushpa. You are also. Karthik. Prudvi. Praveen Kumar. Swati Singh. Lavanya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. If F maps R to R is defined by is defined by Vinila Bhavanam, please stop. I don't know Siddhartha. You need to decide. By f of x equals to x square plus 1. Then the set then the set of all pre images pre images pre images pre images 17 equals to f inverse 17 the set of all pre images all 
all three images minus 3 that is f inverse minus 3 or respectively or respectively or respectively first option pi comma minus 4 comma 4 second minus 3 comma 3 comma pi null set third option minus 4 comma 4 comma pi fourth option minus 4 comma minus 4 comma minus 2 comma 2 just verify this question with options that's all that means see first one if you substitute minus 4 square is 16 plus 1 is 17 4 square is 16 plus 1 is 17 for this one actually minus 3 x square plus 1 is equal to minus 3 understood now x square is equal to minus 4 no real value that's why third option is the right option third option is the right option but let us do it now that means f of x is equated to 17 and you need to find out x value again f of x is equated to minus 3 you need to find out x values so that's we get here set of all pre images we shall get it now so let us do it now 27th solution 27th solutions so f of x equal to given x square plus 1 since since f inverse 17 say y for example y is equal to say x here we get now f of x is equal to 17 so what is f of x given here we have so x square plus 1 equal to 17 x square equals to 16 x equal to root over 16 we have plus or minus 4 therefore x is equal to as a set notation you can write minus 4 comma 4 so these are the pre images of 17 okay right next f inverse minus 3 say x f of x equals to 3 since f of x is x square plus 1 x square plus 1 equals to minus 3 x square equals to minus 4 x is equal to root of that will be plus or minus 2i which does not belongs to the set of real numbers that's why here x equals to pi null set yes exactly this should work i know you were uh, grade also but i don't uh, reveal in this time because it's not a time to reveal also thank you thank you next So now, 28th question, 28th, 
before going to the 20th question let me discuss first actually we need to discuss inverse of a function inverse of a function inverse of a function this is also very very important concept inverse of a function let f maps a to b let let f maps a to b is a bijection is a bijection means one to one and on to then f is inversible inversible that means inverse exists if f maps a to b is a bijection then f is inversible and defined as defined as f inverse b to a b to a so that means that is if y equals to f of x so if and only if x is equal to f inverse y or y is the dummy variable denoted by like this also we can write denoted by f inverse x also generally any function will be expressed in terms of x okay dishwank suma ajay kanna prasanna where are you are you there you are not responding what happened to you okay next how to find inverse of a function inverse of a function inverse of a function just uh, block him mr kartikeya block kartikeya is not deserved to be continue uh, as a one of the viewers right how to find inverse of a function because i need to concentrate on this one so you need to do your work right over let him right so how to find out inverse of a function for example let us consider let us consider a linear function f of x equal to ax plus b a does not equal to 0 so linear function so we need to follow now okay okay prashant panda i will tell you don't worry so this one i did it i kept him hide okay but you need to do you, you should be very careful right so now let us consider f of x is equal to ax plus b a does not equal to 0 how to find out means step 1 you see first step but all these steps need not be mentioned you need to keep in your mind first let us say y equals to ax plus b then we need to find out the value of x in terms of y that means just like solving the linear equation ax equals to we can write y minus b x equals to y minus b upon a see since y is equal to f of x 
just we have discussed here x is nothing but f inverse y in the place of x write down f inverse y so f inverse y equals to y minus b upon a but y is the dummy variable y is the dummy variable means any variable we can replace so therefore we get f inverse x equals to x minus b by a so this is the derivation if f of x is equal to ax plus b f inverse x is x minus b by a i will explain the shortcut how to find out this one so remember this shortcut shortcut c if you want to find out inverse of this function simply you write down f inverse x equals to first instead of this uh, a just delete a x write down and subtract if less sign is there you need to change minus sign x minus b by x coefficient what is the x coefficient a so x minus b by a very simple manner we can write it right so now let us do some problems for example let us consider example let f of x equals to 3x plus 5 then f inverse x what is f inverse x directly we can write x minus 5 upon 3 first example so now you need to tell me let f of x equals to 3x minus 7 then f inverse x what is inverse of the function f inverse x so this one very simple first write down x here here instead of minus write down plus 7 divide by what is the x coefficient here 3 by 3 write down that's all x plus 7 by 3 so now let f of x equals to x plus 5 then f inverse x anybody f inverse x anybody what is the answer what is the answer you will get it very good very good wonderful prashant panda krishna kotla suma swati dishwank uh, now what we need to write now x for x only plus changes to minus by x coefficient is 1 that is x minus 5 so now let f of x equals to x minus 7 then what is f inverse x what is f inverse x good let f of x is equal to x minus 7 then f inverse x is equal to So we get x minus changes to plus x plus seven by one x plus seven. Okay, understood all of you? Right, very good, very good. So let us discuss one more example. So let us consider f of x equals to. a power x then f inverse x what is f inverse x inverse of this function so that means actually here solution let us say 
y is equal to a power x. See, a power x is the exponential form. Then we need to change into the logarithmic form. That means x is equal to we can write log y to the base a. So this is f inverse y equal to log y to the base a. Therefore, f inverse x equals to log x to the base a. That means a power x and log x to the base a are inverse functions. Inverse functions. Inverse functions. See, the inverse of a power x is log x to the base a. Even the inverse of log x to the base a is also a power x. That also we can do it. So, example you consider. Example you consider. Let y equals to log x to the base a. Then, then, what is, I am so hurry, let it be somewhat slow, okay. Uh, let f of x equals to log x to the base a, then what is f inverse x, okay. So, now the solution Let us say y equals to log x to the base a. This is logarithmic form. Then x is equal to a raised to y. If f of x is equal to y, then x is equal to f inverse y is a power y. Therefore, inverse function is defined by f inverse x is equal to a power x. Am I correct now? a power x. That means you can remember like this a power x inverse is log x to the base a, log x to the base a inverse is a power x. Inverse. Okay, you can remember like this. So one more thing. Example. Let f of x equals to x to the power of n. Then f inverse x. What is f inverse x? So, this is for all valid domain itself only, don't worry, because I am not uh, concentrating on the domain, but we need to concentrate on domain and range also, but here, so let us treat that the function is well defined, f of x is equal to x to the power of n, alright, so now the solution, let us say y is equal to f of x actually, generally we say like this. So, y becomes x to the power of n, then x equals to y raised to 1 by n. So, this we can write nth root y. This x equals to what? f inverse y, nth root y. Being y is dummy, inverse function is defined as f inverse x is equal to nth root x. Very simple, very simple. x to the power of n means actually here n equal to this we can write x, not here base is variable. You remember 
base is variable your answer is also correct but whenever base is variable you need to write like this when the base is constant in the previous case please remember yes nth root x nth root x but absolutely your answer also correct so x to the n is equal to log y to the base x also correct we can but in generally we express in terms of like this x is a variable you remember n is constant so now i'll give some examples you give me the answer f of x is equal to x cube f of x is equal to x to the power of 5 f of x is equal to x square f of x is equal to some x to the power of 20 20 so what are the inverse functions just type it all of you i give i will give 3 minutes time to you these four questions answer i need from you you need to chart yes base it is a variable in the previous case base is not variable it's wonderful wonderful mohan rao mohan rao k balu priti yes you are doing wonderful job right 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 everybody everybody wonderful 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 job mr totakura is going to be cut down अजय करना ब्लॉक निकल है दो सो यू विल परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ द टोनली मिस्टर राइट thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so now the 28th question 28th question let us solve the now problems now 28th question if f maps i already told you domain and range is very important r to r plus positive real numbers such that such that f of x equals to 1 by 3 raised to x then f inverse x without paper pen everybody will tell answer now without paper pen everybody will you are able to write the answer first option 1 by 3 raised to minus x Second one three raised to x. Third one log x to the base one by three. Fourth option log one by three to the base x. Which is the correct option? Which is the correct option? Twenty eight. Anybody? 
no problem Pravin log 1 by 3 to the basics log 1 by 2 to the basics C check a power x now all of you a power x a power x we check a power x see a power x is log x to the base a yes option 3 is the correct won't change base will be as it is a power x log x a power x log x that's all 1 by 3 power x means log x to the base 1 by 3 that is the answer okay so once again we'll come to the solution also don't worry let y equals to 1 by 3 power x 1 by 3 is the uh, constant so x is equal to we can write log y to the base 1 by 3 this is f inverse y y is a dummy so therefore f inverse x equals to log x to the base 1 by 3 that means third option is the right option desired answer Twenty nine. Question number twenty nine. Question number twenty nine. Okay. If F maps R plus to R such that such that f of x equal to log x to the base 2 then f inverse x equals to f inverse x equals to so next only i will discuss domain and range problems itself only definitely so first option log 2 to the base x second option 2 power x third 2 power minus x fourth none which is the right option so wonderful wonderful sudha suma prasanna right right th ready okay thank you bye bye okay go to swati vamshi Right, 2 power x, absolutely correct. Now the solution also let us do. Let y is equal to f of x. So y equals to log x to the base 2. So that implies x equals to 2 power y. x is nothing but f inverse y is 2 power y. Then inverse function is defined as f inverse x equals to 2 power x. That's why second one. Second one. right okay thank you bye bye see you if actually everything is good and no technical problem and no power cut then we shall continue in the evening session so otherwise tomorrow thank you bye bye see you so evening session also meant for you only So evening session also meant for you only. Arsha Sampath, where had you been after a long time? Okay, thank you. Bye bye.